In this new silicon world of solid state high technology in which we live in, and don't get me wrong, it is a wonderful time to be alive, I can't help but admire the beautiful craftsmanship and construction of mechanical watch movements. This, for example, is an Elgin pocket watch, and this year it will celebrate its 113th birthday. Created in 1905, the same year as the Ford Model T under US President Teddy Roosevelt, it still ticks on and it still keeps time just as well as it did when it was brand new. Now, mechanical timepiece popularity has experienced a huge resurgence in recent years due to their beauty, complexity, and their incredible precision. But they're not quote unquote high tech. That said, Swiss watch manufacturer Alpina thinks that they can change that with their new e-strap. In short, it's a very small fitness tracker that attempts to merge new tech with old. Now, it's compatible with any watch that has a 22 millimeter lug width, which for whatever it's worth is very common. And at $119 US, it's not cheap, but it's not that egregiously overpriced considering that the leather band it comes on is of superb quality. But you see, that's where I get a bit confused. This is a fitness tracker. And usually when people do fitness things, they sweat. Now, not only is the plastic casing not water resistant, but wearing a leather band while you sweat is awful. They don't breathe well, they start to smell, and they're kind of hard to clean. Now, the sensor itself is excellent. The battery charges using an annoyingly low quality, but at least functional charge dock, and the battery lasts for weeks, seriously. It lasts at least two weeks on a charge with daily use and usually closer to three weeks. Standby time goes for months. It's genuinely excellent. Furthermore, in the two days that I wore E-Strap with an Apple Watch Series 2, yes, <laughs> I wore a watch on each wrist for two days, and yes, it was embarrassing, the E-Strap got nearly the same step count and calorie burned results as Apple Watch, so the accuracy is pretty excellent. Even the app, where user experience usually degrades, is pretty good. I mean, it's not going to win any design awards, but it's functional. Setup is very easy. You connect the e-strap over Bluetooth using the pairing button. You give it some of your personal health information so that it can accurately track uh, your calories burned, and that's about it. It will track your daily activity. It shows it to you in useful charts, and it allows you to set daily and monthly goals, and you can even track your activity during a given month. Heck, it'll even show you sleep patterns if that's your thing. It's not really my thing, but the best part is, and this seriously is amazing, everything is synced over Apple HealthKit. So if you wanna use a third-party application for meal and exercise management, you're good to go. This will work flawlessly. Honestly, I think it's a really polished product that yes, serves an admittedly niche market, but it does so superbly well. It allows traditional watch lovers to rock their favorite pieces without needing to wear an ugly Fitbit on the other wrist, or Apple Watch for that matter. That said, I really do want a version 2 design with a water resistant design, heart rate monitor, and then a rubber or NATO strap so that I can really exercise and swim with it because the leather just isn't cutting it. That'd make it perfect. So make it happen, Alpina. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't like it, well, that other button seems to be okay too. Just wait, because in a couple of days, I've got a killer Hackintosh build coming. And by the way, uh, nope, uh, right here? Yeah, uh, right there, right there. I've got a new iMac Pro and boy, have I got some crazy things planned with it. So stick around, enjoy your stay, and as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.